Hi guys, welcome back to the RPG show. This is episode 8 of Sword of Familiar. We just reached the Cave of Astal in the last episode where we chased a little girl who turned into a monster. She had previously stolen a book from some villagers who were insulted towards and we got accused of stealing it. She went back to the village to say she was sorry and beat the crap out of all the villagers. And now we've chased her to this cave. We should get to previously, but I didn't do a safe state and we died. So we just got back here now and it's where we're starting from now. In the cave of Astor. I already explored a little bit of this cave before, before we died, so I know a few dead ends which were absolutely worthless. It's gonna be poison that in it. Motherfucker! I thought there'd be a map in there. To use one of his poison bombs when he got two. I didn't want to use that. I suppose it wasn't really wasted, but I still didn't want to use it. I really wish you could equip more than one spell at once. There's so many answers using two buttons on this pad, you know, guys. Um, the A button is used to attack and open the menu and navigate the menus to select menu options. And the B button is magic. The C button's not actually used. So they could have let you equip more than one spell. Quite easily. Obviously in their infinite wisdom they thought one spell was enough. Really need this map. Could this be it? It is. Um Right. They do make it so you have to go the longest way bloody possible to get through these caves, don't I? I'm not going near these mushrooms, fucking poisonous shit. I've got them down here. I missed. 
Ah, oh, another set. They do like walking in the corners. Hundred and forty K to level up. Oh a blue skeleton. They hurt. Fourteen per hit. Nice XP though. Better be something at the end of this. Yeah. And we have a Royal Shield. Alright, armor rating's currently 369. Get off. I went out 374, so that's better, that's good. Oh, I've got some in my eye. More skeletons. Really don't like these. No. Nothing you can do against that initial onslaught of him. Please don't have poison it. Need that hundred and forty thousand experience, that's what we need. Double shit. Right, okay.
please level up. I think I might actually come out of this cave. Oh, what's this? That's cheeky. Another chest. Nothing. Another chest. Nothing here. Hmm. Right. I need eighteen, eighteen hundred XP. thousand XP now. Everything's leading to that central section, so that's where the little girl's gonna be by the looks of it. Please be some good mushrooms. No not That's not good mushrooms. These should level us up, I think. Ah, no! Ever so short. One more battle. Watch this, I ain't gonna get one of them. I'm gonna have to take these on. Hopefully, I haven't poisoned it. We leveled up, thank God for that. Poisons us though. Presuming this girl's gonna be here. She has to be, doesn't she? Center of the dungeon and all. Shit, you've caused me loads of fucking trouble. Girl, we meet again. I reported to King Tathakon in Cathania that you are collecting rings. Well, yes, I have your rings, but you'll have to kill me to get them. No props, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Just, just doing the same thing. Fuck! Doing the same thing, but it hurts a lot more. Me, how you?
some reason that time it just didn't want to attack me. Oh. Now it's bizarre to play outside. So then we go back to style now. I'm gonna be poisoned. Yeah. Should be alright to get back then. So many fights are over before they begin, aren't they, really? <sighs> We're still injured. Let's get these poison off us. Right, this replenishes health and magic points. Let me go see the king. Good the rings I say if I'm really sorry but I have a favourite. Another one. In a town of Keltwick, northeast of here, lives the famous Doctor Battle. Would you please bring him to us? Here's a map of the route to Keltwick. <sighs> no book of Sanguius, is that? What's it about that? Let's 
spell was freaking awesome. In fact, actually, have I got the book? No. Oh, I forgot to kill it. Pin the ass there. I'm not, I'm not going back. Test. Yeah. <sighs> Nothing. Oh, different kind of cobalt. Oh, yep. This is new. Uh, we're not that tough. Energy wise, um, 15 and not tough. Oh, what was that? I'm gonna say it's having north or east there, isn't it? But since you can only go, actually, the north way is actually blocked off, so. Nothing. Except some bloody scorpions. Oh, I think I'm poisoned. Well, I mean, fucking twice, can you? Yeah. 
down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Seems all about fire kills fire, but there you go. Red fire. This town's on this next screen. If I ever get there. God, oh my God, it's not. Oh, thank God. Thank God. You know, it's one thing that's missing. There's no people. Oh, there is. There's nobody. Nobody there. Alarm clock. I must do something. I'll have one of those. We've got some to money. Some 
medicine. Couple of poison bombs. If we got room, <laughs> yeah. Bear wolf lives with his son and slam. <laughs> and poison still out to get cured at the church. Speak to that guy as well after we get out. Basil must be napping somewhere. That's what the alarm clock's for. They're all crowding around this house. Is this Basil's house then? It's nobody's house. Where's Basil then? It's quite often price of that. There's no other empty houses, so it's got to be in one of these main buildings. Logical place for being in. And there's a guy. Super game. This is him. Hello, what's wrong? The people of Stowe have been attacked by a monster. This is terrible. I'll go there as soon as I am ready. Side. Right. We're at a loose end now, then, because we have nothing else to do now. We've got a magic shop here. Let's have a look what's in the old magic shop. Right. Let's have a look at my wiki, see what these do.
Ah, uh, we're having Luminos, that's uh, basically a lantern spell. So we never have to buy lanterns anymore. It means we've got more inventory space. And Toxios is a cure poison spell. So we're having that as well. Looking at Hydro's obviously a water spell, and Chrono freezes enemies, it says. I think I'm going to try Chrono. Basically, in them two spells, I've just freed up an awful lot of inventory room for us. Um, well, in the absence of a king here, I presume we go back to Stone Owen and find out what the king's got to say for us. Hopefully he's got to say, here's that Sang Sanguia's book. He's definitely even got a quest to do, so... That took five, but it did nothing. Am I missing a trick here? They all seem to be invulnerable to it. It's working, it cost me magic points, but nothing's happening. Oh, there we go, these, these are vulnerable to it. That's actually going to be a pretty nifty spell to have, I think. Yeah, these are invulnerable. The simple fact that if I uh, get one of those spawns where there's an absolute ton of enemies around me, I can just freeze them, can't I, straight away and escape. Like that. Shame we don't last any meaningful amount of time. Experimenting what's vulnerable and what's not vulnerable. So far, we've got blue fires and um, them funny whiplash fucking things, whatever they want to call them. There you go, I mean, how, how handy is that? I want to deliberately get poisoned there. Seventy five. 
fine. Plus six magic points to cure poison. Right, do these guys freeze? Sure do. This is where I wish I had um, a separate spell slot because I would use that on Fireball. But it's freaking awesome that. Really missing um, magic magic pot post magic um, point potions, aren't we now? Surely there must be some. Joking. Ah, let's see if these guys freeze. No, I don't. Well, there is back on the feet, and we've got some heroic music. Give us that book back. If you discard a book of spells, I can give you a book of free. You don't have to tell me twice, mate. I get rid of Feros, and we're gonna use that again. Great volume, please set this book of sanguine spells for your efforts. I'm sure it will come in very handy. It really well will, mate. Especially with it in Malaga. But apparently, I've had Malaga. A town far north of. far, far north of the pack. Ugh, can't read. No way, Malaga, please stop in Keltwick and find Dr. Basil for us. I just cast the wrong spell then. That's a different spell. No, it's not.
Alright. I gotta sell some spells that we're not gonna use. Can't sell him. Uh. Uh -huh. Right, just looking at my wiki here, Sanguia. We had Sanguios before. S A N G I O U S. Don't look like we'll never get that back again, unfortunately. But we have got Sangua, G U A I, which looks like it's a second in hit spell. And it restores 200 hit points for 12 magic points, which is better than, six, than, than 68 points for 6 magic points. So. So we can get rid of the Sangua spell now. Shame we can't sell him. Um, I like me Volta. Aero was a pile of shite, so we can get rid of that. What else we got? Nah, well, we're keeping them. Right. <laughs> right, back to, um, Keltwick, um, and I think once we get back to Keltwick, I think we'll leave it there. Need to rest at the inn first, get my magic points back. So while we haven't got that awesome spell back, which I presume would be a little bit game-breaking, two magic points for all your energy back, we have got a better spell now, so all's good. So back to Keltwick to thank Dr. Basil for healing all them dudes. There's no way you can get into these guys, I mean look. They track my every movement. I'm gonna go for Copperus again. We can always switch to um, switch to Chrono when we're in Run for Your Life mode. for press war. Oh, 
on the way up we go. I'm not into what that ruby brooch was that we picked up as well. Apparently it prevents monsters attacking you for a period of time. And apparently it's the only one in the game. So that could be another good thing to use when we in a spot of bother. Not bothered about using the old magic here because this town's not very far away and we can replenish it up. We're going to get to, to level up 180,000 now, we're way off yet. How far did that miss? Chest. Don't need them anymore, do I really? No point taking them. More steps. And there we go. Right, we'll go rest, uh, we'll go talk to Dr. Basil first, and then we'll rest at the inn and then call it a night on this. That's an absolutely knackered. Can't you see that I'm getting ready for bed? Go away. Ew, I'm grateful. Fucking twat. Right. Uh, this is where we shall leave it, guys. Yeah, 
yeah, we'll leave it there and do a save. So we'll s figure out what we've got to do. Kelwick, we've got to get to the town of Mulligan next, haven't we? Um, we haven't been given a map of how I get there, so one of these guys in the village is probably going to have the map, so that's what we'll start off doing next episode. We'll um, talk to everybody and hopefully get a map. So uh, thanks for watching, guys.